Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion, bringing you guys another tips and tricks video. You guys, if you do appreciate these tips and tricks videos for console players, please give this video a thumbs up. I know you guys can smash over 500 likes on these videos. You guys always kill it with usually 1,000 likes on these videos. So if you guys hit at least 500 within 24 hours, that'll mean the world to me. But with that being said, guys, let's get into the video. So starting off, you guys already know, week 7 challenges are out. So a lot of people are going risky real now. I was not planning on winning this game. Game. This is a pre-recorded game. I just got this like five minutes ago So I was not expecting to win at risky real. I was like, okay I'm just gonna go into a duo game mode where I'm just gonna land at risky real Maybe there's not gonna be that many people so I went into a duo game alone at risky real I was just gonna try to open up one chest and then probably end up dying because you got to open at least seven chests at risky real So usually when that those challenges happen people land open the chest and they die right away because that's just it's just natural It's what you're doing. There's so many people here that everyone's going for the chest and stuff like that so as you guys can see I ended up picking up this chest and I'm gonna give you guys the best tips and tricks to how to survive the start of the game so as you guys can see first off when it's this hectic and crazy it's going to be very easy to survive the game just because nobody really has a gun everyone's running around trying to pickaxe each other but the first thing you need to worry about is trying to find a gun before anyone else so it really depends on what gun you get sometimes you're gonna get screwed over and you might get like a deagle like I did or you might get a mini gun and other people are gonna get a shotgun so it's going to be easier for them so really it's kind of the luck of the draw if you don't have that good of a luck and you actually end up picking up like a mini gun or something that you cannot use that's good that's going to win you the gunfight it sucks so for instance like me right now i have a deagle the deagle is not the best gun in the game so what i'm going to need to do is i'm going to need to third person peek like crazy i'm going to have to use this as an advantage as you guys can see um there's a person under here there's a shotgun but i don't have time to pick it up because i'm in this gunfight and the other person had a shotgun so the second i knock her i'm going to end up picking the shotgun because it's it's the first weapon that you need the shotgun is the best gun in the game when it comes to start of the game gunfights so what it comes down to it if you see a shotgun make sure you pick it up now right here you're gonna see me using the third person peek I see this person running up I know they're gonna try and loot this person and I'm just gonna third person peek it to try to see when I have a clear shot and that's when you're seeing me take the exact shot the person was kind of not dumb but at the start of the game people are kind of hectic they don't really care to like try to survive because just it's the start of the game their teammate might have died or something like that so they're all just running around crazy like that person really Shot, I shot at them and they pushed up to me trying to kill me so I third person peeked him and I ended up shooting him and that's exactly what you're gonna see me do for the last like four or five kills right here is you're gonna see me just hiding around this corner of the wall and I'm going to third person peek every single person that runs by because there's so much loot right here in front of me that I'm using this loot as bait and that's what you guys want to do you want to make sure that you use loot as bait and what I mean by that is don't pick everything up leave the ammo out there and stuff like that only pick up what you need and what you can and then leave everything else everything is bait so everyone's going to com come over and try to pick up the ammo because they need ammo or they're going to pick up the mats because they want mats and stuff like that and that's when i'm going to go ahead and third person peek them and take the shot when they don't expect it so sometimes when you land at a house the best thing for you to actually do if you get a good shotgun like a pump shotgun or anything like that and you have shields just go around your house the first house that you ended up looting and break every single furniture in there so that way you can get mats so that way you're able to have material and you have a good shotgun and maybe shields like that so sometimes it's okay to just loot one house and stay in that house make sure that there's nothing on the outside that's destroyed so people don't think that that house got looted so they're gonna try to run over there and you're gonna basically bait it out they're gonna think that they can run over there and get some free loot but little do they know that you're sitting there behind the door third person peeking it waiting for them to run by to shotgun them straight to the head now I know a lot of people are gonna say don't don't teach people how to camp but these are tips and tricks to help people survive early Early game if they're not good at running around and building and stuff like that this is the best tips that I can give them because it does help out for sure before you comment on this video trying to give hate and stuff like that why don't you actually think about other people that aren't as skilled and trying to watch this video to get better yes I know there's some of you out there that are actually pretty good at this game and you know how to build and stuff like that so these tips don't really project towards you but some of the tips in this video can help you out so this video is more for people that struggle early game they, they're tired of dying right away and stuff like that so these tips and tricks can help them out the best they can and also another tip the reason why it's good to actually camp in a house on your own in your own house is because you let everyone else in the city fight basically you let them all fight let the guy whoever kills them all maybe he's weak because he just got done killing three people in the same city that you actually ended up fighting in after he kills those three people he's going to take all his wood he's going to take all his mats the good weapons and stuff like that so once that guy runs into your house if he does you can shotgun him to the head maybe and then switch to your attack and then kill him like that but however you kill him maybe with a trap in the room 
roof you can actually end up getting all the best loot within that city so not just did you just camp it out and actually win the city over you got all the best loot in the city and you actually ended up getting a kill now yes i can agree that the only way to get better at fortnite is to actually challenge yourself and push yourself to actually fight people so if you want to get better you got to actually go out and try to push people as much as you can if you hear gunshots run over there and try to kill both of the people rather than sitting there and hiding and stuff like that that's if you want to get better but if you're just tired of losing early games do those tips and tricks you guys it'll definitely help out a lot where you just sit in a house and just wait because sometimes people just don't like fighting early game because they don't have all the mats they want they don't have the good weapons and stuff like that so they'd rather get better and practice later in the game and fight the good people so again it does help out a lot if you do survive that one city because then you can get all the mats you want you can chop down as many trees get as much materials as you want and you have good weapons because you had all the good weapons within that city and then anytime you run up to somebody you can actually end up then fighting them from there with everything that you need you don't have to fight them with with a disadvantage another good tip for landing early game and surviving is try not to land at tilted towers yes tilted towers sometimes has decent loot but it's so hectic and so crazy that you're probably just gonna end up landing and dying or if you get two or three kills you'll just die eventually so I'm suggesting go somewhere else a little outside of the map like maybe not risky real right now but risky real was a good place until this recent challenges that Jack actually just happened but go to something like salty or maybe flush factory or something outside of the map where you can actually get looted up and stuff like that because that way when you're ready to actually get into a gunfight you don't have a disadvantage of the other person maybe having a blue pump and you only have a great tactical shotgun and you actually have materials because having material in this game is a huge must a lot of people don't really pay attention to that but you really want to have as much mats as you possibly can so that way if you're running into somebody and you're weak or something like that or you get into a build off you're not really stressing about hey i just ran out of mats i have to stay on the low ground because this person has all this wood and they're getting above me and stuff like that so make sure you're always farming material at a lot of these houses people don't know this but destroying the furniture can actually give you probably like 100 to 150 wood each house so for instance sometimes i even get 200 wood in a certain house if you destroy every single furniture in that house including the stuff in the kitchen the furniture the tv the couches everything like that will get you around 200 wood so if you go to two different houses in that city that's already 400 mats right off that and then if you're hitting trees on the way there you're that's another 100 so you already have 500 wood just from looting two houses and you have whatever weapons that you had in that house now these are pro tips that you're actually going to see a lot of pros doing if you ever watch somebody like ninja or myth or any big time streamer that's really good at this game you're going to notice they're destroying every single thing in the house because they want to have material say somebody runs up on them when they're at their second house or something like that they're going to want to have material so that way if they get into a build off or anything like that they're good to go they're able to actually win the fight they're not going to have to stress about oh hey this person has more mats than the other person because honestly in fortnite if you're both good builders sometimes if you're at at the same level of building as the other person it comes down to whoever runs out of mats first because whoever runs out of mats they end up getting low ground advantage and the other person can actually look down at them and they can just build on top of them and stuff like that so again sometimes it's about who has more mats when it comes to certain gunfights now with that being said you guys that's basically all the best tips that i can give you guys when it comes to landing and trying to win early fights now again you also got to pay attention to who else is landing there you got to look around you don't just want to land and focus on your house you want to look around at like hey who else is landing here how many people are landing here so that way you know where people are landing and you're ready for it whenever it comes down to it now guys with that being said that is all the tips that i have for you guys when it comes to early game trying to win an early game now i know a lot of you guys are going to be like hey why are you telling people to camp again try not to be selfish try to think about other people that don't really aren't really that good at this game and let them benefit off of this video but guys with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys were watching the gameplay it was actually a solo duo gameplay where it was a lot of fun and i just destroyed every single person i ran to it was actually a lot of fun there was some pretty good builders here as you can see right here i'm trying to shoot down this wall put up a wall so i can edit it and obviously this is what gets me the victory royale because this person doesn't know what's going on they think they're safe but little do they know i could see through the wall but guys thank you so much for all the love and support again if you want more tips and tricks if you guys want to know tips on how to win like solo duos or solo squads i can actually give you guys that video very soon because i actually have a lot of experience playing solo duos and squads because that's what made me a better player if you want to get better at the game you got to push yourself to challenge yourself to do things that you don't think you'd be able to do and you got to go full try hard but thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video peace